Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Camilla and I'm a goal addict. Welcome to my goals for 2023. I, I love a good goal. I love a good list, to-do list and everything. Just love it all. And going on booktube, it's been really fun to do that with TBRs and stuff like that. Have I ever managed any TBR completely? I'm not sure. If I achieve all my goals that I've ever set myself on booktube, definitely not. But I will continue to set myself goals. I'm trying to be more realistic. I'm trying to learn, you know, and adapt and see, you know, really where do I sit? But that doesn't stop me, probably never will, you know, I'm probably more than a third into my life now, I you know, and this is how I am. I love a goal. So let's look at the, I think I've won 15 goals for this year. I had 10 in 2023 and I have 15 for this year. I've adapted some of the stuff that were stats and stuff like that into goals because I want to keep measuring them basically and keep an eye out for what I'm doing with them. So let's dive right in. My first goal, as always, is a number. So I put a number of books and I'm hoping that I'll get to it. I had put 75 for 2022. I'm putting 65 for this year. And that's actually the, a mistake. It was meant to be 60, but I, not that I miscalculated, but I want five a month as a goal, which is 60. But then I forgot about it and I put 65 <laughs> in the store graph and Goodreads. So here we are. So 65 is basically half of what I actually read in 2022. But I have started my PhD. I have a full-time job. <laughs> you know, I'm a runner. I, you know, I do a lot of stuff. So I don't want to overburden myself with too much reading. And I'm trying to be more conscious and slowly with my reading. Don't know really how that's going, but it's a, it's a goal for this year. Goal number two kind of is in the same vein. And that's not really a measurable goal, but I thought I put it as a goal, is that I want to read more stuff that I want to read. And by that, I mean, I want to read less stuff that I feel pressured to read, either through booktube, through, you know, my background in hit, like in literature, you know, oh, I should have read this classic or that thing. I find that I don't click with a lot of stuff that I read because I feel like I have to. That means I have less of an enjoyable reading experience. So I want to focus on that and be less pulled <laughs> by the trends and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's one of my goals. And we, I guess I'll be able to potentially see a little bit what I read at the end of the year and see if I went with that or not. Uh, I'll see how I measure it when I come to it. Goal number three is to read a book in Spanish. This has been my goal for a few years and I kind of let it go basically. But this year I want to read a whole book in Spanish. My Spanish is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. I've been kind of studying on Duolingo as well to refresh, you know, especially verbs. It's my, you know, kryptonite. So I'm trying. I've started a book called Quiltras by Aredes Uribe. She is a Chilean author and journalist. And it's a very short book about, I think it's female friendship and like class differences and stuff like that in Chile. I have found that I have to look at some words, but they were words that obviously they wouldn't be in my vocabulary. So I'm, I'm learning, but also I am quite pleased with myself or how it's going. Goal number four is to read 12 books in French. This is a continuing goal. I've had that goal for a few years now. It doesn't have to be one book per month per se, because usually when I go back to Canada, I end up reading a lot of literature in French because it's accessible to me. That's what my parents read. So um, I, I just kind of compensate over the year with that. Uh, and we're planning on going for a few weeks over the summer. So yes, and they don't have to be books by French authors or like French speaking authors, but it would be my preference. But like, let's say my book in January that I read was a book by a Hungarian author, but it was translated in French. So I had a copy my parents sent me. So yeah, that, that counts, but my preference will be Quebec authors and French authors and stuff. In number five, we have my classics, TBR for 2023. I've picked six books uh, for the year, as well as continuing some books from 2022. So you can go and check out my TBR video. I will link it above. In number six, we have to follow the Women's Prize for Fiction. So last year I did follow book prizes, which was a vague and very all-encompassing goal. But this year, I'll see if I follow prizes. But the one I definitely want to follow is the Women's Prize for Fiction. The long list is coming out in March. And as I said in my February TBR, I'm saving myself for that for March. I'm going to see what books I can find and I'm going to dive straight into that. 
and hopefully I can read the full shortlist as well before the prize is announced over the summer. In number seven, we have to read a book that I own, a physical book, every month. So I want to keep tackling my physical TBR in a kind of more rational way than I did last year when I said do this percent or this many books because I know my reading is going to go down but I would like to at least every month or you know I would like to prioritize reading stuff that I own in book copies. In number eight we have just a continuation of a goal or you know a trend in my kind of reading it is to continue with 75 to 85 percent reading female and non-binary authors. So that's something that I prioritize just in general it's not even something I look out for but it's kind of automatic sometimes when I look at things. I'll just pick the non-binary or female authors. It's, it's not even that I'm looking at, oh, are they a guy or, you know, but it's just, I don't know, it comes with the perspective that I'm kind of interested in. So I want to continue in that trend. In number nine and 10, we kind of have my goal of reading diversely. So in nine, we have my 12 new to me countries for 2023. So I made a video for that. You can go and check out the 12 countries I've picked and kind of which book I've picked for each country. You can help me pick one of the books actually for Afghanistan if you want. So I want to read at least from 12 new to me countries. Obviously it was only six in 2022, so that was a bit disappointing. So I wanna be more purposeful about this this year. In number 10, we also have the, you know, one of the goals of reading more diversity is that I want to read 40 to 50% of like non-white cis male authors. <laughs> so basically I want to, uh, to go back to maybe at least 40% of uh, authors of color and of indigenous backgrounds. I was really disappointed with how I did in 2022. And also, you know, queer authors, trans authors, I want to kind of expand the authors that I read from and the perspective that I get. In number 11, we have my goal of like hopefully continuing to read about 25% nonfiction. And I don't know how that's going to go because I was starting my PhD and I've noticed already I'm reading a lot of nonfiction, you know, a lot of articles and papers. It's kind of working in my brain in a separate way. So like yesterday, I did a full day of PhD research. And at night, I, I went to pick up Other Lens, which is a nonfiction book. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot be bothered by this. And I just listened to an audiobook fiction to try to lighten up the mood a little bit. <laughs> it might change over the year. We'll see. In number 12, we have a goal that was suggested to me by Keith, which is to read more crime fiction or thrillers and more than last year. <laughs> that's my kind of giving my caveat. So more in like a bit of a vague word. So that's why more than last year. I think last year I read maybe up to five of those. So I would like to read maybe the equivalent or more because obviously percentage wise, it will probably be, be higher if I read the same amount. There's some thrillers and crime fiction I really enjoy but it's just not something I pick up by interest so I, I want to look it up I want to continue the Shetland series by Anne Cleves so yeah uh that's I want to add it in here number 13 is a goal again from last year which is to continue reading the women who have won the Nobel Prize for Literature I'm kind of on my I'm on my fourth technically right now of like the whole list and I have to go back and add Annie Arno who obviously won last year so I, it's kind of a work in progress but I just want to add it in my goals to make sure I don't lose track of it. In number 14 we have my goal of clearing my net galley shelf and what I would like to clear is books that have already been published which is most of them. I think I have about 15 left that most of them have been published in 2021, 2022 so I'm late on all of them and I really really need to get them read. So I'm working on it, I'm doing one right now. So yeah, I'm gonna try to clear them. Obviously the other day I was like, oh, what book are left? And then I end up requesting like five. So we sh we'll see how it goes in terms of clearing it to zero. It won't be Ned Galley shelf zero. It'll probably be just like try to keep up with what's, you know, what's coming basically. So if it hadn't been published yet, it's fine. But we'll see how it goes. And finally, my last goal, number 15, is to read more indigenous authors from Canada or beyond. So I think I read six in 2022. So again, I might go for a similar number or higher uh, in, in terms of percentage of total reads uh, for 2022, depending on how many books I end up reading. But it's something that I'm really interested in and I just want to read more different perspectives. I have a book by like a Sami author lined up and also I have a book right now by a native author from the US who goes to live with indigenous people in South America. So I'm really excited uh, about, you know, the different perspectives that I'm going to get through that. It's a lot of goals, but I think that's already stuff I'm doing. I just want to kind of have them as clear goals so I can either check them off or see how far am I doing this one? How far am I, you know, keep them in mind. I think 
maybe I'm over uh, burning myself in terms of numbers like oh one a month one a month for that six of that because I think if I'm potentially planning on reading maybe 60 to 70 books the 12 books in French 12 books from around new to me countries the six indigenous authors the six thrillers I feel like all of that might end up quite a lot the woman's price of fiction long list so potentially it's not really achievable in that way but it's all of these things are stuff that I want to be kind of looking at and doing this year We'll see how it goes. I'm excited by these goals and I'm excited by the year ahead. So, you know, let me know what your goals are or, you know, what you think of my goals. Is there one you want to join me in? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back. Bye!